shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yah shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Let's stop right there. Okay, now, that is leading to what Acts is talking about. That's right. All right? right. I want to stop. We're going to come back there, right? Okay, now, some very powerful stuff Most High put in that thing right there. Most, this is the right path, right over the top of your head. He says, the seven spirits we were taught in church. God in three parts, signs the blessed Trinity. Right? And no! Slap somebody say no. No! <laughs> it ain't no three. It ain't no three. That's right. It ain't three. That's right. Alright. Hallelujah. That's a whole other level. I'm gonna give you just a little bit of it. Alright? Okay. Now, go in verse one he says, the spirit uh there shall come upon read, read verse, I think verse two I want again. Verse two, yeah. And the spirit of Yah. The spirit of Yah. That's one. Go ahead. So rest upon him. Uh-huh. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. And understanding. Uh-huh. Understanding. Uh -huh. The spirit of counsel. Counsel. Uh -huh. And might. Might. Uh-huh. The spirit of knowledge. Knowledge. And now the fear of Yah. The fear of Yah. Hallelujah. Seven. Uh-huh. Read that again. And the spirit of Yah. The spirit of Yah. So rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. And understanding. Understanding. The spirit of counsel. Counsel. And might. Might. The spirit of knowledge. Knowledge. And of the fear of Yah. Fear of Yah. Hallelujah. The seven spirits. The seven spirits. Seven spirits. Hallelujah. Not one, seven. Uh -huh. Now, go somewhere else. You said, brother, you sound kind of crazy talking like that. All right, okay, I'm glad you said that. Uh, go with me to Exodus chapter 25. 25. She most. Exodus 25. Exodus 25. Because see, the Most High is trying to get that character right because oh, yeah. he needs he, he needs us, but he got to have us in the right place right. because if we're not in the right place, then guess what? We're going to be ineffective. And guess what will happen to us? We could cut off. We're going to die because we're not in the right place. Right? So now, Exodus chapter uh, 25. Just read one verse. Read verse uh, 37. Verse 37. Yes. And now, so make the seven lamps thereof, and they shall light the lamps thereof, that they might may give light over against it. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, uh, now, uh, let me see something. No, go up to verse 31. Read verse 31, I'm sorry. And now shall make a candlestick of pure gold, mm -hmm. of beaten work, so the candlestick be made. Stop right there. Revelation right there. Four, he said, thou shalt make a candlestick of pure gold, of what? What type of work? Be beaten work. Mm -hmm. To, for us to see that which is inside the gold, we got to be beat. Hallelujah. Hammered out. Hammered out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Beaten work. So the candlesticks be made. Uh-huh. His shaft and his branches, his boughs, his knops, and his flowers shall be of the same. Mm -hmm. And six branches shall come out of the sides of it. Three branches of the candlestick out of the one side. Mm -hmm. and three branches of the candlestick out of the other side. Mm -hmm. Three bowls made like unto almonds, mm -hmm. with a knot and a flower like one branch, mm -hmm. and three bowls made like almonds in the other branch, mm -hmm. with a knot and a flower, so in the six branches that come out of the candlestick. Mm -hmm. And in the candlestick shall be four bowls and like unto almonds, with their knots and their flowers. Mm -hmm. And there shall be a knot under two branches of the same, mm -hmm. and a knot under two branches of the same, and a knot under two branches of the same, mm -hmm. according to the six branches that proceed out of the candlestick. Their knobs and their branches shall be of the same. Mm -hmm. There shall be one beaten work of pure gold. Now stop, stop. Why is the Most High keep saying same? Because he's trying to get us to see that they all agree. It's consistent, right? So he says that he said that it was one in the middle, and what? Three on one side, three branches, and three on the other side. So you got three, six, seven, right? Then he says in verse 37, read verse 37. And thou shalt make the seven lamps, seven lamps thereof, and they shall light the lamps thereof, that they may give light over against it. So that's all you need, seven lamps, right? Now, I, this is a whole other lesson, so I'm just kind of giving little little nuggets in it, so I don't want to spend too much time in it, because I want to get back to where we where we, where we are on, on, on the, the, the feast. So now the Most High said the seven, right? Now, uh, Go to Numbers chapter 8 right quick and look at verse, verse 8 and verse 1 and 2. Numbers 8 and verse 1 and 2. 
And Yah spake unto Moshe, saying, mm -hmm. Speak unto Aaron, and say unto him, When thou lightest the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light over against the candlestick. Mm -hmm. And Aaron did so. He lighted the lamps thereof over against the candlestick, as Yah commanded Moshe. All right, stop right there. So he said that the candlestick did what? Gave light over. It says that the, 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 uh, the seven lamps gave light over against the candlestick. All right, that's a whole other lesson, brothers. I'm, I'm, I'm serious, but I'm going to move along. Okay, now let's go and look at Yahshua in the first chapter of Yachanan, or John. Chapter 1, verse 51. Verse 51. All right? Read that, please. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of Elohim ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Stop right there. Who is going to be descending on the Son of Man? The angels of Yahweh. Who are the angels? The seven spirits. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because we just read it in Isaiah 11. That's he right. said that the spirit went, the spirit of what? Hallelujah. The spirit of Yahweh, the Hallelujah. spirit of wisdom, Hallelujah. the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge, and the yes. spirit of the fear of Yahweh shall rest <laughs> upon him. And so what happened here was the spirit, the dove, they started ascending and descending Hallelujah. upon him when he was Hallelujah. baptized in the river. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the most high. The spirit is seven. Yeah. Not one. Hallelujah. Ascending and descending upon him. Okay, you said, brother, you haven't convinced me yet. All right. Go to Revelation chapter 5. I'm sorry. Revelation chapter 5. This is another little nugget here. All right. <laughs> Revelation 5, verse 11 and verse 12. <clears throat> and I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne of the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000, mm -hmm. and thousands of thousands, mm -hmm. saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, uh -huh. and riches, uh -huh. and wisdom, uh -huh. and strength, uh -huh. and honor, uh -huh. and glory, uh -huh. and blessing. Uh -huh. How many is that? That's seven. Who? Read that again. Verse, verse 12. Verse 12. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain uh -huh. to receive power uh -huh. and riches, Two. and wisdom, Three. and strength, Four. and honor, Five. and glory, Six. and blessing. Seven. Hallelujah. Characteristics, right? That's right. We're talking about seven spirits that have seven characteristics, right. right? All right, now, go ahead and look at uh, Revelation chapter 4. All right? Chapter 4. And verse 5. One verse. Chapter 4, verse 5. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. <laughs> And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, uh -huh. which are the seven spirits of Elohim. The seven what? Seven oh, spirits seven. of Elohim. The seven who? Spirits. Seven spirits of Elohim. Hallelujah. Man. That's right. That's deep. That's right. Really? That's it's, it's there. So it ain't one. It's, I'm sorry. It's not one. <laughs> seven. Okay. Uh, can you give me that power cord? Because I'm about to run out of juice. Okay. Now. So the Most High said that he wanted to pour out. Let's go one other place here, because I got I got to tie this into this thing, because I got to see where we are. Hallelujah. Okay, now go back to Yachanan chapter one, John chapter one. Hallelujah. Chapter one, verse as we say in the community, is Yahukan. Chapter one, verse number verse number one. Start right at verse one. Because listen, I want to say this now. I want to say this. There's some people don't have a revelation of Yahshua. First, you gotta have you gotta have a, a revelation of, of Yah first. And Yahshua came to glorify the Father. Right? So a lot of people don't have a revelation of who Yahshua is, right? But look what it says in verse one and one. Go ahead. In the beginning was the Word, uh -huh. and the Word was with Elohim, uh -huh. and the Word was Elohim. Uh -huh. The same was in the beginning with Elohim. Uh -huh. All things were made by Him, mm -hmm. and without Him was not anything made that was made. I'll stop right there. So in the beginning, He was in the beginning with Elohim, Elohim being more than one, being plural, because we got Hebrews that say, oh, He's only one, 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 He's only one, and they use that term, the G word, right? There's only one, right? It says, the hero, hero, Israel, 
Elohim are Yahweh Elohim Akan. One, right? One. I don't have time to deal with that because that's a whole other lesson. But Akan means united.